looks like we'll finally break our dry streak here in the QCA. In fact, we've only picked up a trace of rain so far for the month of June, making this the driest June since 1933 thus far. But it looks like, again, that streak will come to an end today as we have the chance for some strong storms here across the area. We are in the slight risk category, so scattered severe storms possible. Does not look like it's going to be a widespread event, uh, but hail and high winds will be the primary threat. Here's the setup that we have ongoing this morning. Right now, showers and thunderstorms are rumbling across parts of central Iowa. These are steadily pushing to the east. As they do so, these will likely weaken here a little bit, uh, but I do think some more scattered storms are going to develop over the Quad Cities and areas to the east of the Mississippi River. Uh, I would say probably between uh, around... Uh, between, I'd say, 7, 8 o'clock this morning until about noon. Uh, and then more storms likely to develop as we get into the afternoon, evening hours. It's that second round uh, that we're expecting to see at least the chance for some of those stronger storms. Now, it's a very warm start. We're in the upper 70s here as of 3.30 this morning. We're in the mid-70s by 6 o'clock, so essentially two rounds of storms possible today. The first uh, between around 7, 8 o'clock this morning until noon, and then another round between around 3 and 9 o'clock tonight after the sun sets. So that should keep us to the upper 80s today. Still going to feel relatively humid. And then we'll have scattered storm chances Friday through Sunday. Much like today, could see some stronger storms mixing in, but I don't think widespread severe weather is in our cards. Temperature's much cooler, though, early next week because we're only in the low 80s by Monday and Tuesday.